But if they send sisters in Christ as we are around this altar this morning, very especially on the first Tuesday of the month, look, Mary Magdalene is in the tomb. Kasi naman alam na di ba lahat, the very first evidence of the resurrection of the Lord is the empty tomb. They have not seen Christ. The very first thing they understood, Jesus has rose again by seeing the empty tomb. Now Mary Magdalene is staying there. And uh, she saw two angels inside the tomb. And they were conversing each other. And Jesus also was behind her, but she did not understand. Jesus asked her, Woman, why are you weeping? Uh, she told her, Sir, if you have taken away my Lord, please give it back. Please tell me, or I will come and get him off. My dear brothers and sisters, in very in every circumstances of our life, Jesus never disappeared from us. He's always with us. Even when you commit sin, still God is with you. The only problem, sometimes we do not understand the presence of Jesus. We do not understand this is Christ. Sometimes we ask him, why, Lord, why, Lord, you have forsaken me? Or why this is my family have to suffer? Whatever may be that you are going through, Jesus is always just beside you. God can never leave you alone because he loves you. One of the beauty of the Holy Week and also this Easter week, the beauty of these weeks profoundly talk to us more than you love God God loves you much more than you love God God loves you that's why he died on the cross that's why he rose again on the third day and he lives in the midst of you nobody can take away the presence of God from you that's why Sabini you know Saint Augustine the blessing that you have received in the sacrament of baptism cannot be removed. Nobody can take it away. No addiction, no curses, no gossip, no marites, nothing could take away the blessing of God that is set upon you. Maybe somebody might have told you that uh, you are a bad person. Somebody might have told you that when they say you are lazy, you are not doing anything. Or when somebody might have misunderstood you, eh, somebody do not understand the real story behind everything. What we are seeing is only what, with our limitation, but the real story, only one person knows it. Why he or she acts like this. Nobody could understand your sincerity. Or maybe... Your husband, you are behaving like this because the, for the sake of your husband. Or maybe you are doing like this for the sake of uh, someone else who have asked you to do it. Sometimes people do not understand eh, what that person have really told you. You look, this was the confusion during the time of Jesus. Jesus always say, I am just doing what my father is asking me to do. I'm not doing anything else. Yet, they persecuted him. Because they do not know what the Heavenly Father asked him to do. They were just judging Jesus only from what they could see and what they could understand. But if they and sisters, there are truth and realities more than what you can see and more than what we can understand. And Jesus is always there. In our human understanding, sometimes you say, Jesus is not there. But more than your human understanding, Jesus is always close to your heart. As we are here attending this Mass on the Easter Tuesday, eh, or Tuesday after the Easter, and also the first week of the, the Tuesday of the month, 
Let us ask the powerful intercession of Saint Anthony of Padua. He's always guiding us to Jesus. And Jesus is always telling us, I am with you. Nobody can take away the promises of God that is set upon you. No circumstances. Stay humble, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us be sincere. When you stay humble, when you do things for the glory of God, it is not you who is going to be glorified. Rather, it is God who is going to glorify your life. Humble ourselves. Jesus humbled himself on the cross to the obedience to the God. Let us also humble ourselves. Humble ourselves in front of our family members. Humble ourselves in front of our community members. Humble ourselves in front of our friendship circle. When you humble yourself, it is God who is going to work in you. God bless this beautiful community this morning, very specially through the powerful intercession of Saint Anthony of Padua. Amen.